ericmother.com. Let's take a look at a random stock here and with a question being that why is it that the stock over a period of about 16 years has had three major runs here, here, and here. Is there anything on the charts that is, let's say, equivalent across the board or put another way, are there any minimum requirements that were met before each of these three runs? Now remember this is data going back 16 years with only three periods when the stock had a multiple month move, the biggest move, three times. We need to investigate if there's anything that ties the three breakout levels together. Now to understand this, I'm going to include a link in the description of the video for those who are new to this concept. And the method I'm going to be discussing here is one that I call the ultimate Moade breakout. So let's go to the chart again. And maybe we can discover together why the stock had those three runs over the last 16 years or so. And so to summarize the method, the ultimate more the breakout, what we are looking for is three years where we have one RSI moves to three year highs or RSI is trading above 69.1 and then the second requirement is one of our MACDs, just one of our MACDs, needs to be moving to three-year highs. It's a very simple method. So, we need our instrument to be moving to three-year highs on the RSI, or the RSI could be above 69.1, and we need our MACD to be trading at three-year highs. Very simple. Now this is the method that I'm referring to and again I'm going to include a link back to this method, the ultimate Moade breakout. Alright, let's take a look at this initial breakout here in 2005. Let's take a look at the technicals and we are talking about this time period here. Clearly. RSI is moving above 69.1. We also have a price breakout, by the way. Can even use an earlier breakout here. So either of these breakout works. Of course, the lower the better for a better entry. And we have our MACD. In that time frame, moving to three-year highs, remember we only need one of the MACDs. In fact, here we can see that the MACDs in both instances moves to three-year highs, in fact, all-time highs, which is better than three-year highs. So we can see in 2005, which is this period here, either we can take this breakout in terms of a monthly closing high, or this breakout either way you had a chance to own part of this move so so we can see here that breakout number one met the minimum requirements for the ultimate more the breakout let's take a look at the second breakout which is now in 2010 five years later. Right, let's take a look at our RSI and MACD parameters. Let's see whether I can get everything to show up here. Just give me a second. All right, here we go. So we're talking about this breakout here, this time period. We have a price breakout. We have our RSI right here moving to three year highs. It's the highest RSI level since 2006. That's more than four years. 
so that's definitely three years and we have for sure one of our MACDs moving to three year highs the other MACD is not trading at three year highs but remember actually it might just be 2007 breaking out in 2010 so we can say the other MACD close enough let's take a look at this so there's from here so definitely the second MACD is not moving to three year highs that shouldn't be a problem because we have this MACD let me remove that so we have one of the MACDs moving to three year highs which is our secondary MACD right there RSI is also at three year highs and that was the minimum requirement met and of course the price level there was when the stock broke out somewhere there in the under three dollar price range or just around the three dollar 350 price range which means an entry during the breakout there on a monthly basis and you have a chance to own part of this move so again we can see clearly that as far as breakout number two we have the minimum requirements for the ultimate more the breakout now let's investigate breakout number three here now this was in early 2016 let's take a look at our parameters here and to be clear we are talking about this time period here right there we can see our RSI moving to more than three year highs moving above RSI levels not seen since about 2012 and this is taking place in 2016 so that is four years and then we have our one of our MACDs moving to three year highs so you get three year highs here on the RSI three year highs on one of our MACDs we only need one of the MACDs to confirm this both of them is fine but one of them is good enough and here looks like even this was moving to three year highs so both MACDs met our minimum requirements and so did the RSI which means this breakout entry somewhere here in the beginning of 2016 if you take that from a price performance you're talking about a breakout somewhere here good enough one would have had a chance of riding this move so we see again breakout number three meets the minimum requirements for the ultimate more the breakout and over a period of three years excuse me over a period of 16 years we've had three quality breakouts all of them giving the same powerful minimum requirements this is eric Moad with mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings take a look i'll provide a link in the description of the video i am out Mwah. Woo.